Hey guys, I'm working on a project for a client, uh, a wooden fixture for some uh, signage of theirs that involves a fair amount of veneer being used. Um, we've laid the veneer over some plywood and MDF and uh, other various forms, uh, but on this particular piece, I've noticed some bubbling. So as you can see here, uh, some raised points here in the... Uh, in the fixture itself on the on the veneer on the top layer um, I'm gonna show you how to get that out hold it up there so you can see a little bit better you can't really see it when it's flat but in certain lights you can see those raised spots I've marked them off with uh, with pencil here to show kind of the raised spots um, I'm gonna tackle this in one of two different ways we're gonna use the path of least resistance first we're gonna take an iron and uh, some paper bags and try and reactivate that glue and flatten it out. If that doesn't work, we'll have to go to plan B. Um, let's see if this does the trick. All right, so what we've got here is I was using a product from Rockler, the peel and stick veneers, um, and securing everything down. All the other fixtures looked fine, but this one had some bubbling. So what we're gonna try and do here is get that bubbling out using uh, some heat from the iron to reactivate the glue and see if we can get it to stick flat and then we're going to put some heavy weight up on top and let it kind of settle. Um, just using a regular house iron with a setting at 4 uh, which is a cotton setting. You don't want to get it too hot and then we're using a paper bag to just kind of protect the top layer. What we're going to do here is we are just going to go slowly over those raised portions. I marked off with a pencil here uh, the parts that are high and we're just going to get it up to heat and just kind of slowly go over some of these portions. See if I can lower them at all and get them flat. This is the path of least resistance when you're trying to get bubbles out. And you'd normally use this method on regular veneer as well. Um, I was using the peel and stick stuff, which just has an automatic adhesive to it. So you just peel the sticker off and then you uh, flatten it out with a roller or a block of wood. And every other fixture I did worked great. Um, but this one just seemed to, I don't know if it responded to the humidity but you'll see that uh, in seasonal changes as well, wood can have a funny way of showing itself in different fashions. And that includes veneer, especially veneer when it's so thin. All right, so you can see that uh, even just doing a little ironing on top of it made a big difference. I uh, reactivated the glue, set everything flat and back into place. Uh, now that's temporary, of course, until the glue, until the glue settles. But uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to set this down on the table. I'm going to put a couple of pieces of plywood on top of it and then lay some paint cans and heavy objects on there and let it sit flat and settle for a little while. And we'll revisit and see if that did the trick permanently.